tree I long to tell you your lips look kissable Would I be bold to say they're irresistible Although it's forward to mention romance If I don't speak them now I haven't got a chance If I said it all and put my heart on my sleeve Tell me, could you care for me? In this video series, I'm showing you how you can create captivating videos about your family history quickly and easily with Animoto. In the first episode, we laid a foundation for the family history video that you're going to create. Doing this will save you time and ensure a cohesive, well-told story. We defined your audience, identified and outlined the story that you want to tell, and we collected the content that you're going to include in your video. I'm Lisa Louise Cook of the Genealogy Gems podcast, and you can find out more about me and Animoto at genealogygems.com slash family dash history dash videos. And in this episode number two, I am going to show you how to get set up with Animoto the online video creation tool that's going to make it so much fun and so easy to create a gorgeous, captivating video like this. So the first thing that you're going to do is to head to Animoto and sign up for an account. Now that includes at least a seven day free trial, which gives you the full power of Animoto Pro. There's no credit card required. And this trial period is the perfect opportunity to test drive Animoto and see just how easy it is to use. Don't just take my word for it. And as I've said before, if you can click, drag and drop, you can make videos with Animoto. And if you decide that you want to use Animoto past the trial period, there are several pricing plan options. You know, you can purchase as little as one month. That removes the watermark. And if you've done your prep work, like we did in episode one, you can create several videos in just that time period. So we're going to cover that more in depth later. Right now, I know you're anxious to get going. So once you're signed into your Animoto account, click the Create button. Now, first up, we're going to select a style that fits your story. I want to share with you some of my favorite styles for family history videos. There's memory box, antique bouquet, remembrance, vintage voyage, and rustic. These all have kind of that um, old world feel, but there are lots of other styles and some of them really fun and upbeat. And you'll notice that some of the styles have a premium banner on them, and those do require a premium level subscription. But if you've opted for a personal level subscription, you still have lots of wonderful styles to choose from. So click on a style that catches your fancy, and you can watch a preview of what it's going to look like. When you find the one that you want, click the Create Video button on that style page, and that will load the video creator. Now the style that you chose will include music, but you can change that if you want to. So to select a new song, click Change Song, and you can pick a song from the Animoto library. You can also upload your own music MP3 file from your computer. Just remember to keep copyright in mind and make sure that you have the rights to use the song. But you can add more than music as well. You could also upload an audio file. How about a family history interview or even an MP3 file that you have created in a separate program that has both words and music, if you're so inclined. But for now, I really like this song that's included with this style, so I'm going to keep it. 
Now it's time to add your photos, images, and video clips if you have them. And of course, that's easy to do because in episode one of this series, you created an outline for your story and you copied the files that you wanted to use to illustrate that story into a folder on your computer. So you are all set to go. There are two ways to add files to your project. From the menu, you can click Add Pics and Vids, or on the timeline, just click the plus sign in the empty box. In the pop-up window, you'll find lots of options for imagery, including stock photos from Animoto. But for now, let's add the images that you put into your project folder. So under Your Computer, click Upload Pictures and Video. Navigate your way to your content folder that's on your computer's hard drive and click to select the first image. Now you can pull these all in at once. All you have to do is click to select the first image and then select them all by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking the last image in the folder, thereby selecting all of them. Press enter on your keyboard and that will add them all to your project in one fell swoop. You can always rearrange the order of your images and your videos by dragging and dropping them with your mouse. But thanks to the work that you did up front, you probably won't have to do much of that because you already had them in an order that you liked. If you decide to eliminate an image, that's easy to do as well. Simply click to select it, and from the menu, click Delete. Next, we're going to add text to your videos, creating sort of title cards. Again, you can do this from the menu or just click the plus sign in the empty box on the timeline. I like doing that. It's really easy. And then click Add Text. In the pop-up box, you'll type a title or whatever the main text is going to be. And then you have the option to add a subtitle as well. This is where the outline that we created in video one comes in so handy. You've already done a lot of this work. And when you're done, you just click Save. And don't worry, because you can always go back and change any text at any time if you change your mind. Title cards come in really handy for the beginning to kind of introduce your video. At the end, you can use it for credits or more information. And I also like using them throughout the video to transition between different parts of the story. Simply click and drag the cards into the order that you want them. You can also add text captions to each of your images. Hover your mouse over the image and click Caption under the image. In the pop-up window containing your image, you're just going to click to place your cursor in the text area and type in the desired text. Then click Save. Now, if you have a particular image or a text card that you want to have the camera, so to speak, spend a little more time on, thereby kind of highlighting it or spotlighting it, just click to select that card. And then over here in the menu, click on Spotlight. And you'll see that it kind of highlights around the card, indicating that it's going to spend a little more time on that particular piece. So let's see how this looks so far. And to do that, we are going to click Preview Video. You can preview your video at any time during the production process. A low resolution version will be created in about 15 seconds for you to review. And then you can watch and see what tweaks and changes that you wanna make. Just click Continue Editing to head back to the timeline and keep working. So, Let's take a minute and see how my video is coming along.
already getting excited about sharing this video. I hope you're getting excited about your video projects too, just watching this. And next time, we're going to bring our projects down the home stretch and produce them into glorious, shareable videos. Now, if you can't wait and you want to jump in right now and get started, hey, go for it. Head to genealogygems.com and there you'll find a link to get you started. Plus, you'll find the other videos in this series and more tips and example videos to inspire you. And of course, at Genealogy Gems, we all work very hard every day to help you learn the best efficient and successful ways to uncover your family history. So join me, won't you, for episode three on producing your video. I'm Lisa Louise Cook. Thanks so much for joining me, friend. I'll talk to you soon. If I should tell you about your lovely eyes, would you just shake your head or say I'm telling lies? I long to hold you. You look so huggable. Everything about you is just so wonderful Although it's forward to mention romance I've got to speak up now or we don't stand a chance Darling, I'm here with my heart on my sleeve So tell